Hey, welcome back everybody and welcome to Arts and Crafts with Jesse. Uh, today's project, we're gonna take this box that I got on eBay for quite cheap uh, and turn it into a nice Faraday box. Um, if you don't know what that is, look it up. Uh, if you want an example of what one looks like. This one's not complete, but I got some more tape. Something like that. It's just a box lined with copper or any other uh, metal y substances like, I don't know, aluminum foil or whatever. And uh, it's supposed to help. I don't know if it will or not, but it's nice. It's, yeah, something like that. All right, so what we're working with is my eBay find. This is a Pelican 1620 case. It should hold. Uh, quite a bit of my radio equipment and some other things that I'll, I'll explain later. Uh, stuff that I'm also using is this copper foil tape. It's two inch by 33 feet. And um, I did order some, um, I forgot the name of the gasket, but it, it does the same thing except it's more, it's more of a gasket and it doesn't rip as easy. Um, oh, and uh, just before, all right, let's, let's just be clear. I didn't come up with this. I'm following um, a couple of other channels that I watch. Uh, one is uh, Prepper Tech, and the other one is, ah, I wrote it down, uh, November 3, Victor Alpha November. He's a ham radio guy. He kind of does the same thing. Um, but the Prepper Tech YouTube channel, that's P-R-E-P-P-E-R-T-E-K. He goes more into depth about how to do this and all that other stuff. All right, let's get started. So we finished the top portion of this. It's really shiny. Like I said before, I'm gonna get a gasket for all of this. And before I put that gasket in, I'll put some more of this copper, copper foil on it, place that down, and it should close up nicely. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video because I don't think you want me to do, want to watch me do that, because, well, it's kind of boring. It's just like that. All right, so we got the tape on. It took about a couple of hours to do. And I'll show you right now. It's like super shiny. And the nice thing about this material is that if you put a hole in it or something, you can just easily slap it on there because it's got an electrically, electrically conductive adhesive on it. Um, if you look right here, this is a seal. The seal right here is actually gonna get replaced with something uh, that'll actually work because this is just rubber and it's not gonna work properly. Um, now I gotta wait for that seal to come in from Amazon Subprime, so that might take a week or whatever. It's not our delivery dude, our delivery dudes are awesome, but that's just how it works out here when you live out in the country. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and put the foam in, test fit some stuff, and we'll honestly just wait, wait to get that thing, and then I'll probably add that in a later video. All right, so I got this foam. The foam that came in here, some of it was already, it's the, uh, I think they were called pluck and pull or pull and pluck. Well, whatever it was, most of it was already gone. So, like I said before, this thing was used and I highly recommend just buying a used Pelican case because they're expensive brand new. But this is what it came with and 
whatever it was, well, I'm sure it was cool, but it's not gonna work for my needs. So I went ahead and bought another box of this foam, which isn't too bad of a price. Oh yeah, it's got that nice foam smell. Honestly, it wasn't very expensive to do it this route. So I got foam for days. And this part is actually pretty important. You don't want any of your electronics touching this metal stuff or it'll short out in theory. I don't know, I've never lived through one of these, so I don't know. So we're back. It's been about a couple of weeks since um, I started this project. And if you notice in the background, everything's nice and clean. All right, this is what we're working with today. Got a battery, solar charger, a fuse box, and all kinds, of, all kinds of junk over here that I gotta try to figure out how to get all of this onto here uh, and make it look pretty. I could have gone with the whole power pole thing, but I didn't want to buy more crimpers and plus the power poles, all those accessories and stuff. They seem to be pretty expensive and I just want it to work. So it's a new day. Uh, I got pulled away yesterday while we were working on this thing to do some cool things. Um, so let's get back on it. And uh, what's arts and crafts without a glue gun? Let's get to it. So I just finished up a, a few things on this and I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, show you what we did. All right, so we went ahead and put on our solar charger, our fuse block, a little battery meter. And this will go on in a little bit. I'll explain that in a little bit. But I want to go ahead and fire up the radios. See if I uh, screwed anything up. Obviously I can't hit the transmit because there's no antennas or that'll really screw up the radios. Thirteen point four volts. Nice. Good old twenty meters. So everything, everything is looking good. Everything fires up. I guess the true test is when I actually put this on a um, an antenna and key up the mic at hundred watts, and we'll. We'll see if we uh, release any of those angry pixies. Um, as for the glue gun part, I went ahead and just, these didn't come with any type of battery cover, so I went ahead and put that on there, so in case I drop something or 
you know, you just don't want to short everything out or blow up. All right, that's, um, I'm, I'm going to call that good. Granted, it looks a little busy, and it, if you look at it, it might actually put me on some type of one of those, uh, those lists, which I'm pretty sure we're all on a list, but the way that thing looks, it looks like I should be on a list. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put everything in that box over there, pull out that, that foam and get that going, but I should probably clean up all this mess so I can right. have some room to work. Before I put this away, I guess I'll go ahead and show you how I, I made this and what I'm thinking. Maybe not the best build, but this isn't like a, like a go kit or anything like that. This is uh, hanging out on the porch because that's where I, I do my radio stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the radios. I have my little, uh, my local radio, if you will, and I color coded it with yellow to yellow. And then my get around the world radio is in blue, which all goes into this fuse box. Now this fuse box directly connects to the battery back here. This, uh, excuse me, this battery back here, and it's got a little battery meter and also attached to that battery is a solar charge controller. Now this solar charge controller uh, is powered by this 60 watt panel, which is actually more than just the three, the three panels. It's a total of six and uh, it does a pretty good job. And the way I hook that up is with green because yeah, go green, right? So that'll hook up to there and it'll charge the battery. Now, I also went ahead and put in a uh, backup charging system that uses the 110 that goes here. And so I can have the ability to charge that battery using the grid, off the grid, and if I need to do something else, I went ahead and just threw this in here and I can hook up to that battery block in case I got to do something with 12 volts. And as far as USB power, this actually has a USB power uh, output on it too, so it'll charge no matter what. Or I can just go get one of those little 12 volt USB adapters. I, I mean, I got a million of them somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, so that's the rundown of that. If you have any questions about it or whatever, uh, it's ugly, it's ugly. And I guarantee you I'm on a list because that looks like something that can go boom. But it, it could, but it's not what it's designed to do. Uh, that's, that's how I built it. I didn't want to expend a lot of money on this, uh, getting power poles and all that other stuff, all the fancy stuff that I see on YouTube. Uh, but we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it works. And uh, now, I'll just, now it's time to just put that thing in the box. All right, so yep, it's another day. Uh, like I said before, my project isn't a priority. Obviously farming stuff is more of a priority, but it's a good day. Because we're finally done. Got everything here that I can get in here. I may, I haven't decided if I want to put in a, a handy talkie, a little handheld radio in here or not. But uh, as for now, she's good to go. So I've got my charger, my Nano VNA, that's uh, my SWR meter, my battery kit, my HF radio along with its tuner and my two meter, 70 centimeter uh, radio. And over here is just uh, just a little laptop that I've had for a while. It's, it's, it's used for uh, when I go on digital modes and also when I need to configure some stuff where I don't have to do it manually, which sometimes is a pain in the butt. And I don't know if I said that, but the solar panel as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and count this done for now in fact i've got a it looks like we've got another hour or so before chores i might actually get on the radio all right i'll let you go and uh let's give somebody else a, a chance to pop in here k4 rf and 5 qe well i'll give you a quick answer uh, there, uh i'll uh, talk to you later on about that ego and what happened there uh, i think the city had some issues so i don't know if there was any resolution whatsoever with the one year pairs. 